Good morning, Denise here again, um, coming on to share with you some more of my um, embellishment making for the journal that I'm currently doing, which is the Cougar Park Digital um, Kit from Janie B on Etsy. Um, I'm using those to create the main part of the journal. So today I'm going to show you how I've made some altered playing cards and I've used some serviettes that I've got from um, an Etsy shop called Tatty Treasures. That's Tanya who is on YouTube. She's a junk journal on YouTube and she has a, a shop and she's got these beautiful serviettes which I think are from, I'm pretty sure they're from Michael's, uh, which is an American store and she's got somebody sent her quite a few and she's able to share some of her stash with us so that's good and they're beautiful for this project because the colour is just perfect vibrant colours just like the digitals are so they're going to go really well and lots of beautiful birds and beautiful flowers so I've done a couple as you can see I wanted to do one with a bird and one with a flower so I've not got everything with birds on in the in the journal give it a little bit of something else um, so the playing cards that I've used are a pack that I picked up at a charity shop I think I probably paid 20 pence something like that for them but I just really love the gold don't know if it's shining too much or if you can't see it but it's got beautiful gold edging on it and it's the bird theme which is lovely um, it doesn't have to be you can just use ordinary playing cards that just have the ordinary pattern on the back and you can cover the back and i think my intention is when i choose the two that i'm going to use in the journal i'm going to leave one as it is with the birds on show and i'm going to probably three quarters cover another one with paper that could be journaled on. Okay, so I'll have a, a mixture of both because they are pretty just in their own right. They're beautiful just to look at, um, especially when you spot that they're playing cards, but it, it is always nice to add as much journaling or drawing space as you can for whoever's going to own your journal. So this one's completely finished. You can see it's got little wrinkles in it and it's got little squashy bits and it, it's been distressed underneath on purpose. So I like all that distressed look. That's what I'm going for, which is lucky because it's easy to do. Um, and it, it's, I've distressed it with ink around the edge as well, vintage photo. OK, so it, it does look like it's a playing card that's perhaps been sitting around for a long time, well used, etc. So that one's completely finished. This one I haven't quite finished. I haven't taken all the rough edges off because I wanted to show you how to do that one, to share that with you. And you can't do it while um, it's wet. You've got to let it dry properly. Um, otherwise you end up just ripping it back off again. So I'll make a couple with you and then I'll come back and show you how to get um, the edge off that one. So I've got a couple of, I'm going to do a couple more. I'm only going to put two in the in this journal, but then the other two will just go in my stash of things for... Um, fill in other journals and I've got quite a few actually that need filling at the moment so I'm sure I'll find them a home. So this one I've partly done as you can see it's got some sort of distressing going on already. It's different to this one so this one I didn't distress at all I just went over it with some I think it might have been acrylic white paint but you can use household paint you can use gesso you could use you could probably use watercolor anything really watercolor will run when you re-wet it but it's just really to make it look a bit um distressed underneath the serviette when we put it on um and the other the other way to do it or you could do both is to get a piece of um, sandpaper or an, an emery board like i've got here a nail emery board and just actually distress the top of it this has two effects because it takes the shininess because they're really shiny the cards which helps with the um the, the stick the glue helps it to stick the actual serviette to it won't bubble and come off with use um and you can actually go in and distress the actual um, numbers and suits on the card itself because it gives it a little bit more. Some of it will be hidden with the um, serviette, but quite a lot of it is, is on show. Okay, so you just and then wipe it off so that all the um, all the dust has gone. So then you end up with your playing card like that. I then use um, Mod Podge. Um, but I think you can use, I've, I've heard and seen people say you can use um, just an ordinary white PV, 
PVA glue. Um, and I don't, I think Mod Podge has got PVA glue in it or some sort of white glue in it. So I'm sure you can. It, it's just about sticking the serviette down and sealing it. So it's a, it's a kind of a glue. It's a sealant at the same time. Okay. So I just water it down a touch. This is old watered down Mod Podge that I keep it all. I don't waste it because it's quite uh, fairly, it's not too expensive, but it's not cheap. So waste not want not so water it down quite a bit but not too much it dries clear as well and this is the i think it's the matte one i got yes i got the matte one so it will dry a little bit shiny um but not as shiny as the non-matte one okay so that's all ready to go you then need to choose which piece of the serviette that you want to actually use now i don't think i've brought an other serviette with me because what they do is they have three layers on them and you have to take the other two back in pieces off them. I don't think I've got one here to show you, that's a shame. No, I haven't. But um, usually they come off pretty easy if you start at the edge. If you struggle, just put a piece of sellotape on the back and pull it and it'll, it'll tear a little hole in it and it'll show you the three layers and you'll then be able to really easily separate them. Okay, so choose the piece of the serviette that you want. Uh, over your playing card so I'm going to do one with a bird again I think I'll go for this really beautiful green one up here now you can rip it you can cut it I prefer to cut because it, sometimes it rips where you don't want it to rip and then you end up losing everything um, for a small project this is absolutely fine again a, an easy way to get the piece out of a serviette that you want is to dampen it uh, just with water and um, a brush so it will see if I can demonstrate it with a bit of this Oops. okay so if I wanted this bird out here if I just wet the serviette round round where I want to cut as it were like that say and then you just pull the serviette. I'm sure you all know this because it happens when you use serviettes and get them wet. You just pull it and it comes away really easily like that. I've just cut mine somewhere. Don't get the wrong bird, that's it. Let me just wipe all that up now. Okay, so that's the bird I'm going for. It will mostly fit. It will cover my card and it will mostly fit my loose bit of his tail, unfortunately. But it'd be nice if we get him close to the top. So that. you'll see it will become a, become a lot more see-through uh, when we wet it. And we'll have a bit of that at the bottom. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, whoops, that was a bit much, is put a thin layer, she says. <laughs> Thinner than that would be much better. And it won't come to any harm, but it's a waste of your product and it will take a long time to dry. That one there. Okay, and then just lay it, lay that on. You don't get too many goes at this because obviously the uh, once it's wet, that serviette is really unstable. And like I say, you, you can be really careful and pull it taut and get it really neat so there's no wrinkles. I quite like the wrinkles. I think it adds to the age, um, or rather the look, the aged look, not the age. Um, so for me, it's a really easy job, which I like, <laughs> of just really setting it down like that. Whoops. Yeah, depending on how, I mean, these are lovely strong serviettes as well, depending on how good and strong your serviette is. You sometimes are only able to go over it once really lightly with your brush. If you do it too much, it, um, it rips your serviette. Okay, and then you're going to need somewhere for it to, to dry. Now, the temptation is to pull all this off. But because it's wet, it could tear anywhere. It might You might be looking, it might just tear around the edge. And then again, it might not. It could just tear anywhere. So I just leave it to dry. It does curl up a little bit. 
but once it's dry, I put it under a book or often my table here while I'm working on it, just to let it flatten out. I then trim really close round it with my scissors. And then I'm going to show you with the other one what I do with the final little bits to get a nice neat edge. Okay, let's get rid of all that glue off there. So that's one. So we'll do it. So this one, I, I think I probably did just take the shiny coating off it, but I didn't rub it an awful lot and take away all the colour on the hearts and the five. Um, I just covered it over with the paint. So which flower am I going for? That one's quite pretty, isn't it? Will I be able to get it on? I mean, it doesn't matter if there's a little... In fact, it might even add to it if there's a little bit of the edge showing, especially when we ink it. Uh, yeah, quite, I quite like that. It's ornate, isn't it? I'll just trim roughly along it and leave my bird for another, another card, another day. Or another... Oops, I do beg your pardon. Hope you're not dizzy another craft session okay so they're really so easy so simple and yet really effective when you get them in the journal and once they're done you can embellish them more so you can put lace and butterflies tickets bling more pictures if you want to on the top um tabs or you can leave them exactly as they are because they are so when you get serviettes like this, they're so beautiful, so decorative, that you really don't need to add anything else. I th I'm thinking that I will probably add a, a tab to the top of one of them, similar to tabs that I've put on other um, tags that are going to be in the journal, just to kind of tie them in a little bit. I do, not always, but for this journal, I want it kind of matchy, matchy, everything kind of tied in and matching. Sometimes I do really eclectic ones that, you know, it's just a a hodgepodge, not a mod podge, a hodgepodge of items. Um, but for this one, I want everything to match. So I'll, I'll probably do one with a, a tab to match some of the other tabs. And then the other one, I'm going to put some paper on the back to make it into a small, obviously it will be small, journaling spot which I'm going to show you on one of the two that I made previously. I don't think they're in camera. I don't think you can see them. Excuse my arm constantly. Hopefully you can see them there. Not that they're doing anything, but apart from drying and curling up. So the two that I made yesterday or even the day before, I think, because I wanted them really dry. So you get your... Emery, you can see I didn't go to the bottom with that one actually, so I might, I might put some lace on that cover in it or I might just put the Distress Ink on it. I'll decide when I actually fill the journal with it. So you can see that I've cut round it but there are some, and I actually did one side and then stopped because I thought I need to show you that. You can see that there are some, and you can try and get close to it with your scissors if you want to, but this, this gets it really, excuse the noise, <laughs> that's the only problem, it's near the camera. This really does get rid of it in an exact shape that your card is. Okay, so firm one way and then turn it over. Oops, go down like that, the other, until you get it really smooth. I think that is not too bad, that one. I cut it quite close. Yeah, so that's lovely and smooth. And then all I did with this one was go round and ink it. But what I'm going to do that with this is pop um, a bit of paper on the back for journaling. It will only be a small bit, but you could put a note or a date or a number or a little memory on it. Um, I dug out some of my... This is a very, very pale green. It's background papers from Shabby Dabby Doodah. I'm thinking you it may not even show up on the camera. It probably looks like white paper to you. Um, but I promise you it's not. It is green. I'll, I'll bring it closer when I've done and see if I can show you uh, a bit of the colour. It's pale. I must admit it is a very pale green, but it's definitely not white. So, and it's got a lace trim on the edge. So I wondered about having something like that. I want to try and keep me gold. And maybe the bird peeping out, but, but you can see that it will be 
you know, only big enough for like a, a date, a small memory, a name, something like that. Um, but it just gives you an option, another option. I'm not going to put it on with that. So I think I'll ink the edges of it first, which will change its look altogether when it's on. Again, to make it look dist oops, distressed and like it's been there a long time. Perhaps it got stuck stuck to it while it was travelling around in somebody's suitcase, <laughs> travelling bag. And it's been there for many years. Yeah, that's distressed it quite a bit. So I will just use, I think, my glue stick. Oh, that's quite shiny, isn't it? No, I'll use Fabri-Tac just to be sure. We don't want it coming off. I mean, I could always um, rub it with the emery board again to uh, to give it a bit of a key. But for speed's sake, it's not a huge piece, so it's not a lot of glue. For speed's sake, I'll use Fabri-Tac and secure it. Okay, so of course you can fill the in, the whole back of it, which would leave, leave you a lot more room for um, uh, journaling on. So you could put a full piece covering the whole back there. So you could write more on it or stick pictures or whatever on it. Now I will distress the whole thing. Maybe keying that over would have made the whole the back look more distressed. Might do that one next time, might key it down and because it, it still looks quite shiny new, doesn't it? Let's dull it down a bit with oh that's better. It's amazing what a little bit of distress ink can do. Yeah. Now it looks dirty and grungy and like it's it's been kicking around for a good few years, which is the look we're going for in a in a grungy journal. Okay, so again I'll distress the bottom bit of that look looks like people have had the thumbs on it and held it and okay so that's those those two you can see why you can't work on the wet ones until the you know usually the next day unless you have a, a drying tool but I think um that would make them curl even more so you'd still have to get them nice and straight sorry I can just do again I believe then and then it's up to you um like I say, leave them as they are, and these are beautiful cards, so I may well or bring in some things to uh, just jazz them up a bit, personalise them, you know, make them more in keeping with what you want in your book. Um, lace, bling, I'm not going to do these because I'm not sure what they're going in yet. Uh, once I've decided, I'll decide if they want, you know, more on them. Just cut pieces of this off and see. We always like a piece of bling. Yeah, put something in there. Or some of the black on the butterflies is always nice. But it's a good it's a good idea to not over decorate a lot of your pieces until you've actually decided, you know, not just which um journal they're going in because I you know I have an idea which journal these are going in but also until you know which actual piece of um you know pocket or tuck or what you're going to use them for as well so in in some pockets you won't have a lot of room so if you start putting you know big pieces of lace and bling and things on them they won't fit um like I said I'm going to probably put a piece of velvet small velvet tab on the top of one of them uh, like that but they're fun and they're different um, and you can get all different size playing cards. I've got some really huge extra large ones, probably the size of the journal, so that would be no good for this one. But they're real fun to um, to alter. You can also alter things like um, playing cards from games like Monopoly has cards and oh, there's so many. Uno, things like that. Vocabulary cards from school. You can, alter, you can alter them all and it, it, it's good if you can leave some of the back showing so it's obvious what they were but you don't have to. You can just use them as cardstock. Okay, so hopefully they'll um, build my, my stash, the two that don't go in, and um, we'll do something another day with all the spares from the journal. I'm hoping to sew the signature in this afternoon so I should be able to show you the journal made up. Um, 
hopefully tomorrow and then we'll start putting some of the things that we've made into it and embellishing it and that's the fun bit also okay lovely so thanks for watching putting up with me again knocking the camera and hopefully i'll get to speak to you again tomorrow bye guys have a nice day